everyone welcome back to my channel so we are now in July that was fast um this video I want to just touch base with you guys and you know discuss what have changed in my system and where I'm at now um I think I finally get it <laughs> uh I've noticed that I'm looking for more space in my system, so I have kind of shied away from a six size. Before I was doing some uh, memory keeping here, let me show you guys in my um, in my A6. This is a uh, regular Hobonichi original i was doing memory keeping in here but then i just found that it's very uncomfortable to write in and I'm, i don't have the space that i need so i don't want to abandon this book so i'm very hesitant but i did go ahead and purchase the hobonichi avec for july to december and i'm loving it I'm actually waiting on a cover, um, a Giglio Apunto A5. This is an A5 size. Now, when I first started in my Hobonichi Cousin, the A5 size was like way too big to me. Um, it just felt overwhelming and I really began to love A6 size. But now the opposite is happening. Like, you know, these things just change. So I'm just trying to go with the flow. I don't want anything to go to waste. I do want to finish this. If you can see, you know. And by the way, this is the Giglio Apunto in Ostrich. This is the color Viola. Gorgeous, oh my God. Love it. This cover would make me stay in A6. Like I have to do something with this. But we'll figure it out. So this is the Avec. I have it in a uh, Hobonichi a5 plastic cover this uh pen loop is just a clip this is from the superior label i love it i bought it off the bst one of uh, the bst groups so basically i can just put my pen or whatever right in here so this is gonna be my fix until my cover comes and it's working so far so yeah i'm gonna do memory keep it in here in the AVEC, you have the monthly section, and then you have some um, a monthly view, and then you have your daily view. So these are the past two days. Today we're at the third. I have not journaled yet, but I'm loving all of this space, the ability to use my my photos, my my washi tape. It just and my fountain pen so yeah i'm really digging this so this is gonna be in my system going forward at least for now also i have my b6 now um this is um a undyed gallon leather zip folio in the b6 size i just did that like right before i started filming um sweet and sour sauce I was eating chicken nuggets. Um, I wiped it off with a uh, cloth, but it didn't really like come back all the way. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll give it a chance to maybe dry or whatever. So this is my B6 Stalogy. I'm using the B6 for journaling. Um, if you are not familiar with the journaling home, I hope you guys are. She has like an amazing shop on Etsy. Uh, check out her Instagram as well. Amazing. She every month she has like these journaling prompts and it comes with these beautiful um, floral, you know, decor such as this. So I printed out her journaling kit for July and I'm going to use this B6 Stalogy for journaling prompts and things like that. So I haven't started. I got three days. <laughs> I'm about three days behind. Um, like for example, I'll show you like just one. 
question. So for the first, it says, do you need a clean, uncluttered environment in order to relax? How do you feel about your environment right now? So stuff like that. And then you can just answer that question and sometimes it may open the door to you writing about additional things as well. So I love it. That's what my B6 will be for from now until and of course I have my I don't usually count this this is my um, work planner this is an a VDS undyed Janet leather undyed um, it's pretty boring I try to do some you know decor in the front but my work planner is straight to the point okay I also print out my stubs um, and place them inside. I write down in the back just a summary of the day's events and in the front I put down my work location and things like that. So yeah, it's working out. I love it. It's my work plan. I'm very consistent. That is not going to change. Nothing special is going to happen with this. Um, yeah, this is in um, Hobonichi Weeks Mega. And in the back of it, I just have like this uh, Tomo River Hippo Noto notebook in case I need additional space or anything like that. So yes, that is going to remain in my system as well this month and moving forward. And then we have lastly, my archive folder. Um, I spoke on this briefly in the prior video. Um, this is just going to mimic most of the things that are in my my rings. And then I have my Plant a Monkey Co. companion book as well. I haven't found a real uh, use for it yet, but we will see. We will see. So yes, I'm loving that. Now, the main showstopper here is my new cover. Yes, I enjoyed A6, but man, I'm back in personal size. And I got this cover off the buy, sell, trade. I purchased it from someone that I purchased from before. And um, I had a great experience. And I saw that she posted this. I mean, I promise you, it said posted two seconds ago. And I was like this. This is a gorgeous Janet Leather Brown standard size planner and the inside is Barbie Napa there's no back pocket that's fine with me no mad style layout pockets in the front gold popper gold third on um, 25 millimeter rings with the chunky strap Come on, this is squared corners, okay? Funny thing about this planner, back in the winter, I saw when the original owner posted, posted it. Um, I think it was Nicolasa. Thank you, girl, loving this. The person that purchased it from her posted it and I was able to finally get my hands on this beauty. It is so gorgeous. And the good thing about it is there's no stiffener. So it's just nothing but squish. That's the only way I could describe this. This is great. Now, um, I also went ahead and purchased the black from the same um, seller. This is the Janet Leather Black. But this one is widened, silver popper, silver 30 millimeter rings, standard uh, layout, fly leaf. The fly leaf was not widened, so that's why you can see that it's much shorter. This one has a back pocket, which is amazing, with the chunky strap. So this is absolutely beautiful. This duo here is amazing. In the in the standard right now, I'm using um. Franklin Covey compact size paper so it comes right to the edge um, I can use side tabs but it'll stick out a little too much for my taste so I'm using top tabs that you can barely you can barely see them um, I don't know how to 
make it, but you can't really see the top tabs. This is a today tab, but I have some tabs here, but it's fine. I know where everything is. And yeah, it's great. So let's get into this flip and show you what I'm working with for July. Sorry if this keeps like shaking. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tighten this. Oh, sorry y'all. Okay. So this is what I'm working with for July. To the front here, I have a piece of acetate from Simply Gilded. I'm using the uh, covers here from the Paper Test and Hey Planner Girl bundle and also the the decor right here. You guys uh, may have seen this as well in my reference planner. It's just too good. Like this is so, so too good. In my pockets, I have a planning with Alo bookmark. These are a recent purchase. I'm so happy to have finally got one, get my hand on some. That's why I went ahead and bought, I purchased four of them. I just seen the fourth one. I mean, these are literally staples in the planning community. Like, are you even planning if you don't have one of these? Like, beautiful. These are just gorgeous. This one is my favorite because it has like the sparkle to it. So yes, planning with Alo. She's amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I'm so happy to finally have that. This is, um, Caffeine and Paper Co. Latte, the bunny. And I'm not too sure about these clear cards. Um, I wanna say Paper Alley, but I'm not 100% sure, but I will leave it down in the description. In the pockets, we just have, this is a freebie. I think this comes from um, paper, um, Planet Shar. When you buy her bookmarks, it comes with this. These are the recent Monkey, Planner Monkey Co. sticker sheets. I'm loving her florals this month. So cute. Yeah, so the first part, this is um, cloth and paper. We have some acetate here, and then finally my fly leaf. I love, love, love this dashboard. This is a freebie, can you believe it? Look at that. It says summer edition. It's from Plain Sheet Designs. I love that. This is uh, some vellum from, uh, I wanna see, is it Latua Notes? Latua Notes. Um, we have a freebie 2002 um, date hair from Planning with B. Love it. Then this is again from Paper Test, the bundle. We have my table of contents here. And again, this is not filled out because I am now moving into this. So I'm really excited to begin filling these out, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be using. This is the Tua Notes, my favorite uh, task board to date. This section, again, this is paper test. We have a planner hashtag insert. I think this is, yeah, this is from my minimal plan. We have a Caspresso Co. Um, clear pocket cover here. I just have random things inside of there. Random die cuts. Um, this is a sterling ink vellum. Cat, um, oh, these top tab dividers that I was telling you guys about. I don't know if you can see them. Let's see, it says monthly. So yeah, these are Franklin Covey size. I got these from Gracie's Edits. Love them. I was gonna give these away because I, I didn't think I was gonna ever go back into Franklin Covey but I'm glad that I held on to them. This is a bands off my body. You know how things are going right now with you know women's rights and everything. I thought it was fitting to add that into my planner. Um, we have my monthly section here. 
these monthlies are from Paper Test. So basically she has uh, the calendar here. In the back you will have like a space for like maybe daily tasks. You have a weekly task and then you have a section for tracking and um, monthly goals and whatnot. So we can skip past those months. I'm not even sure why I even put all the months in there because we're in July now but I don't know. I may take it out. I may not. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how short this is. Okay. So this is the monthly. In the monthly section, I'm just putting now pressing uh, tasks or appointments. So, or holidays. So I have my nail appointments here. Of course, my trip. Um, just things that I need to see right away, like boom in my face, you know what I'm saying? So that is that for my monthlies. Then we go on to the weekly section and there go those top tabs again. I'm using here, um, infinite Lotus, um, dailies. I like it so far. Um, this is weeklies, I'm sorry. Weeklies. So to the front, you have your priorities um, this week. And then you have like a section for a checklist. And then you have a space for like memo. And in the back, you know, you it's undated. So you date it yourself and put your task or whatever needs to be done. I mix that with... Um, where did I get these from? I can't remember exactly where I got these ones from. And it's like completely blank. There's not a name on it, not a sign, nothing. Um, I downloaded these, however, because it reminds me of my favorite inserts from Filofax. Do I have them on hand? I think I put all of those away. But I wish Filofax had like Franklin cubby size. I'm gonna show you guys. I like to show and tell. So this is the Filofax uh, weekly inserts right here. You see how that is? But these are dated and then they're in a cotton cream color, but I'm using Franklin cubby. So I just felt like it reminded me of this. And um, yeah, so that's why I had downloaded that. Love them. And the reason why I'm not continue on with the Infinite Lotus is because the printing was driving me crazy. Um, I wasn't I wasn't getting it right. Now we're in the daily section. Dailies. I got some uh, sticky notes here from Cloth and Paper. This is also from Cloth and Paper. Hey, plan a girl. Just a picture of me at work, picture of hubby. Um, this is a fold out for your sticky notes from Caspresso Co. As you can see, bring it back. Yeah, so Caspresso Co fold out. This is the dailies. These dailies are from Infinite Lotus. Then I also have next section would be money section. Um, I'm using the same. This is from uh, Sterling Inc. Plain Chic Designs. This is like um, just a 10 step formula for financial freedom. Then you have like a card here for spending rules. And then I'm using my same paper test um, financial bundle. I haven't filled it out yet, but I love this bundle. Like it's in every planner. It's in my pocket size. It's in my personal size, my personal wide, everywhere, everywhere. I love it. Then we have the list section. And right now I'm using these half sticky like tab things as my dividers for some sections. 
So this section is called List and Things. I have a trigger list here from Soli Papers. This is a quote here from quote dashboard from Plan With B. Then I have a lot of freebies back here from Planning With B. I have the Add to Planner, Shopping List, Brain Dump, The Last Time, Books to Read, Subscriptions. Then I have some memo papers from uh, Latua Notes. More um, Chic. This is the Chic document paper right here from Latua Notes as well. So. Then the self care section. I am searching high and low. If you guys have any suggestions for some great self care, health, mental health, everything inserts, please let me know. Um, I'm really trying to make this section as functional as possible um so thus far all i have is um this is a printout from like a card from um, my manual planner self-care day um it gives you some ideas of what you can do read a book meditate call a family member you know etc then we have uh casper soco i have some clear cards in here just some decor. There you go, this journaling home again. I love her florals. Printed that out and put it in here. I have a fold out here from Paper Test. This was a freebie back in May, I believe. We have my minimal planner. I have quite a few dashboards from her. I love her aesthetic. Therapy notes. That would be notes. Oh, this is the new uh, vellum from Planet Monkey Co. That just came out this month. I love it. It's got like the butterflies and it's a very thick piece of acetate. Good quality. Self Love Club by Minimal Planner. I am worthy. And you have um, a space for your top five reasons. Inspiration, motivation, inspirational quotes. Then you have a section for your monthly health goals. Another dashboard. I'm a work in progress. And then I downloaded this this morning. Um, this is a self-care routine sheet. This was from... Oh my God. Is it the planner room shop? I can't remember off the top, um, but I will leave it in the description below. But you have a space, a uh, manifest space. You have monthly checklist, weekly, AM routine, PM routine. Um, and in the back, you have uh, products. I guess if you're buying like facial products, uh, things like that, you can keep note of that. So I think that's great as well. You have emotions of the day insert. This is from my minimal planner. So all this is self-care. So yeah, that's my last section. In the pocket here, we just have just random. Most of these are most likely freebies. Plant a monkey, so cute. Just like icons and things like that I keep in my planner. Um, day of the week. Things like that. And this uh, folder is from cloth and paper. And it's actually for personal size, but it doesn't look, you know, awkward in here. It works. Oh wow, how did it even get in? Once it gets in a little bit. Then I have a page list here from Foxy Fix. And in the back, I have a bookmark. This is from Planet Char. Green on one side and like this nude on the next. And just some um, page flags from cloth and paper. And yeah, die cuts and whatnot. And then my pen of choice for this is my 
Caveco collection pen in the color green. And I have this uh, gold clip on it. This is sold separately, the, the pen clip. Um, don't worry, we'll talk more about that soon. So yes, guys, this is my everyday carry for July. And I'm actually happy and confident about it. I'm happy to be back in um, personal. I will be switching out into the black for vacation because I just don't want anything to happen to the brown. JL Brown is just way too sensitive. I feel like the black can take more of like a beaten or whatever and I'll be more comfortable and confident in just taking the black one any and everywhere. So yes guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this flip. Let me just do a little roundup. Oh, I want to share uh, these with you guys before I go. These are mild liners. I found these in... No, I actually ordered these off of Amazon. I love them. I think I did a swatch, but where did I swatch? Where did I do the swatch? These are so amazing. I'm glad mild liner is, you know... Giving us all the nude and um, neutral vibes. So yes, I'm loving this. Look at these colors. So these were a great buy in my opinion. So I just want to let you know. So if you are on Amazon and you're into like the neutral tones. Yes, this is it. Um, I was actually considering giving away most of my mild liners because I don't ever use you see these colors like these blues and you know I don't use colors like this but when I seen these I was like yes we're back in business um I'm loving the olive loving it and the copper um so just letting you guys know in case you're looking for a neutral marker from a trusted brand <clears throat> That can be your go-to. So, all right. That is my flip. This is my system. This is what's working for me right now. And this is where I'm at. You know, everything is always subject to change. <laughs> you know how we do. And these are, this is my system right now. And I'm loving it. So again, till next time, stay tuned for that fountain pen video. I know, I know, it's coming. Um, I'm off for the next three days, I believe. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, a lot of time for creativity. So until next time, guys, thank you. Bye.